both Chris's, Chris Watkins, Chris Verlaud, you guys, you both are excited about it, and that's primarily because it's so similar to what they have in soccer, right? Am I right? Yeah, it's more just I know what the potential of it is. Like, and I, I've heard a lot of people in the past couple days compare the the soccer element to uh, what the NBA is trying to do, and a lot of it people point at is. You know, what makes the soccer in-season tournament great is more the history of it. And, you know, that's really what makes drives the importance is the fact that there's just such a long history that you can look back on of what it means. And the NBA is starting something fresh. And obviously, by starting something fresh, you're not going to have the the history and the cachet built behind it. But I just think once this thing gets going, people are going to, you know, fans are fans. Like they're going to get into it. And you're telling me once that final four happens or that championship game, it's not going to feel different. You really don't think that like, we're going to watch that game and just feel a little bit heightened intensity in that game and be like, well, that was, that was kind of cool. Like randomly in the middle of November or in the beginning of December, we had a pretty exciting game between two teams. And they, you know, I think, I think they might not care about it leading into it, but I think once the game is happening, I think we're going to feel it. I I will admit, I don't think we'll feel it until the championship. I think we'll take our, we as fans in general, we'll take our cues from players. Mm -hmm. Right. And I heard Steph on Saturday, Steph was on ESPN because he was named some golf ambassador or something. So they were talking to him about that. And then they asked him also on sports center. So what do you think of the end season tournament? And he kind of, well, you know, it's great for the fans. And <laughs> But his final um, closing remarks on it were, you know, as players, it's something that, um, you know, we'll figure out and we'll adjust to. It's like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> but I understand. Someone like Steph Curry, they're, they're very singularly focused on a championship. LeBron, a number of guys you can, a lot of sure. guys you can put on that list. We want to win the NBA title. So for those guys, right now, I would think the in-season tournament is like, it's almost a distraction. Right. Because it really detracts yeah, I hear what you're saying. from what we're trying to do sure. potentially. So I think the only way this thing works, I think it's going to take a long time because I think we're going to have to get to the point where maybe some of the younger players and in some cases, maybe players who aren't even in the league yet are more open minded to oh the tournament. That's cool. But for a while, I think it's going to be tough for the league to get some, you know guys like LeBron to get. Oh, we whoopee. Mm-hmm. We, we made it to the knockout round. I think that there's going to be an element of like ramp up. Like if, if Golden State and I, I completely hear what you're saying, like Golden State winning a midseason tournament, but if they lose in the first round, they're not going to say, oh, but that midseason tournament right. thing meant meant something. It didn't mean nothing. Well, it's like Kentucky. If they lose in the final four, they don't go. Yeah, but we won the we Maui made- Classic, <laughs> you know? <laughs> sure. I think there is still, but the Maui Classic still matter. Like it's, it matters less now that college basketball matters less, but there was still an element of like, it's a ramp up. Like it's a good way of seeing if you're the Sacramento Kings or even the Golden State Warriors. Like, okay, if we wanted to ratchet this thing up, and take this seriously because we have championship aspirations. Maybe it's a good gauge right before the trade deadline as well, or as trade seasons kind of starting to heat up. Are we there? Do we, do we have the horses? Do we have the competitive fire? What happens when we kind of put ourselves in a pre playoff environment with this team? What does it look like? I think teams are going to convince themselves if they do perform well in the tournament, like, Mm. okay, don't let us get in the playoffs. We now have this bravado of, okay, like we've, we've been through a little bit of something. Maybe we can take, and it's all, you know, that's all kind of off the floor mental stuff. But I think there is an element that teams could use this more as a ramp up to a championship. And, you know, it, I, I think that narrative comes more if a team wins the midseason tournament and then wins the finals as well. But I think that there is some value that can be extracted from the tournament. We have it's March just mentality. Yeah. Pardon me. We have March Madness in the NCAA for the NBA. We'll have, I don't know, new November neurosis. Yes. No. <laughs> Do you think it'd be better for yeah. the league if uh, like – the Lakers or the Celtics or the Nuggets win the tournament, or would it be better if it's the Atlanta Hawks coming out of nowhere to shock the world? No one will ever forget I this think, November. Oh, wait, I already did. I think the first tournament needs to be won by a big name because it would instantly devalue the tournament if the Orlando Magic are the first winners. And it's huh. like, 
okay, like that just proves that this midseason tournament means nothing yeah. because the Orlando Magic aren't going to win the NBA title, but they just won your Mickey Mouse tournament that you had in the middle of the season. That's not what they're calling it, no, is it? Uh, hopefully not. Maybe okay. maybe in a couple of years. Uh, it'll be the Amazon Disney midseason, or it's in-season, in-season, in-season. tournament. Uh, which, by the way, NBA, nothing, nothing better than in-season tournament. We couldn't come up with commissioner. I know WNBA has commissioner's cup could have piggybacked off that. They unveiled the trophy Saturday. They did. Wemby (laughs) uh, uh, unveiled the trophy the other day. It was uh, underwhelming. Didn't like the trophy either. It's kind of like the Larry O'Brien, but without the basketball. Your friend Christopher Laud said he was out. It was Saturday, right? Yeah. He was out with friends and he was on his phone checking to see what group the Kings were in. (laughs) I needed to prepare myself for is, when. Is he a great fan or is there something wrong with him? There's definitely there something wrong with him. There might be something wrong with him if you're checking the first. I will say, too, the NBA needs to make it easy to watch. Like, yeah. it, this can't be something where, oh, you have to go to Peacock at this time and pass. watch it. You need yeah. to, this needs to be on NBC, on Fox, on ESPN. You can't put it on an app to where, like, That's oh, now point. I have to do work to watch these games. Screw that. That's a good point. I would think that they would at least have one of the games on, but you're right. They should make via the NBA app, just make all of the games on Tuesday and Friday free for viewing so that, yeah, you're getting as many eyeballs as possible. If you're a Kings fan and you really need the wolves to beat the Spurs, you should be able, if you really truly want to get as much fan engagement as possible, get a bunch of crazy Kings fans who are watching warriors wolves to see if they could make a playoff spot. Like, Hmm. Get allow Kings fans in Sacramento to watch Wolves versus Spurs to see if the Kings are going to advance through the group stages or something like that would be a way, an easy way to get people even more involved and, you know, not really have to put much effort. Here's another reason why I'm really skeptical, but I'm not sure about this. I need you guys help. The soccer tournaments, a lot of them, the in-season soccer tournaments, football, if, if you will, don't they include teams from different leagues? So that's one of the reasons oh, yeah. you have a tournament yeah. because these guys don't normally play them. Yeah. And now they're in a tournament, so they're going to play, which you don't normally see. Right. Well, I don't have that same sort of thing about, ooh, Atlanta's playing the Kentucky Pacers. Wildcats. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen them play since, you know, last year. Sure. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Because so that's kind of open. Yeah. yeah. And I, I don't know. Uh, one thing you could do is you could make, hey, whoever wins a tournament gets a, like a playoff bid. And they, I guess they considered that. But the problem then is, let's say the Lakers win the tournament there in the playoffs. The rest of the year, they don't have to try. So sure. that defeats the whole purpose of trying to make the regular season uh, more more compelling. So they're really at cross purposes on a, on a lot of things with this. Yeah, the, the incentive part is the thing that I still can't figure out. Like, I think that the idea of the tournament still excites me and, it, it, you know, gets me excited. But. If the I players can't care, figure out why the care. players care. If yeah, they do, that's the key. Why. The players care and play hard. It'll be good basketball, and we will all be on board. And I think they're like they're still regular season games. Like it's not like they're going to be actively trying to tank these games. It's just yeah. What is the motivation for them to give even more than mm-hmm, what they would mm-hmm. for the regular season? That that part still hasn't been answered. I don't think the fifty or five hundred thousand uh, dollars. I think it's it's definitely five hundred thousand dollars that each player is going to get if they win. I I don't think that that's enough to really motivate them. I think competition is what motivates these guys, and if you can, I don't know how they do it, but if they can somehow just get get the competitive nature of this up somehow, whether it be yeah playoff birth or something but you know there's just i, mm-hmm. I think that's the part that they still need to hopefully out. we get like lebron james in a knockout game being like okay whatever but then he's like but i'm not gonna let them beat me yeah. i'm not gonna let them right rise out and the worst the case Jordan scenario stuff. would be like it's a championship game this doesn't actually count for the regular season it's the lakers and lebron james is lo- being load managed tonight right because it's not a regular season game but or, it's still for the championship that's worst case scenario or if god forbid someone gets hurt in that championship game yeah you know mm-hmm. then it's like well this game didn't even count for the regular season and accounted for your stupid tournament but now we don't have anthony davis the rest of the year clearly the commissioner in the nba they're all in on this so i think it's going to take a long time 
before this thing has a chance to succeed, but they're going to, they're going to keep sh uh, shoving it down our throats Yeah, for years. If it doesn't go well this year, mm -hmm. they're not going to go, Oh, okay guys, Scrap you don't like it. it. Yeah. yeah. They're in for the long yeah, haul. I wouldn't be surprised if in five years, the tournament looks nothing like it is right yeah. now. Yeah. Well, how about the group stage? And I know this is getting kind of wonky here, but you get four games and then uh, after four games, the teams in your group, the best two advance, everyone's going to be two and two. Right. So they're going to go to tiebreakers. One of the tiebreakers is best record the year before. That's just stupid. That's really dumb. That has <laughs> nothing to do with anything. That's in, And I know it's not the first tiebreaker, but the fa yeah, that shouldn't have anything anyway. to do with anything. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Uh, it's kind I'm of, not saying it's a perfect system. I just think that there's potential there. Well, I think um, you're going to win in the sense that we're going to have this thing for better or worse. Yeah. I think for many years. I think so. Many yeah. years, especially if they get sponsorship and they're making money off of it. There's no way they're going to pull the yeah, plug. Off. Absolutely. And it, it'll be interesting because, again, leagues don't really experiment like this. And so if this does fail, it will be interesting to see how long the NBA you know, tries to run with it or will the, you know, I, I definitely don't think that they're going to, uh, to just nix it after one or two years, but you know, typically when a league makes a change, it's here to stay. And it's something that's well thought out. This does kind of feel like something that's still very imperfect and they st still are just going to run it out also, and make it work. This sounds dumb to even suggest for the NBA, but if you're to make those games cheaper to go to as fans, where you get like a packed mm. audience and people that are into it and you're not just charging them an arm and a leg just like okay like what's the point of even going to this game it's yeah. ridiculous yeah. to get I in think, Plus, yeah the question is if you win do you hang the banner no yes no. yes i'm pro banner you have to yeah i think I, if you want to make it a lot. thing you have to do if it if you win the tournament you have to hang the banner it can't be a banner. It has to be you, something else. I don't have to. Hang I the guess. Banner. I guess you have to. It's just that. That to me feels like a division banner. <laughs> that's like, I don't know where the hierarchy goes on that, but that's like division banner midseason tournament. Uh, I yeah. There's it's it's in that tier. Can we do an, a randomness. poll on that? Our, I'm having some YouTube issues on my side, but uh, yeah, I, you have to. I guess, I guess. I mean, it's I mean, still a championship. It's just, uh, you, sure, whatever. Go ahead. Why not? If you don't want to, that's fine. I'm sure there's other it's people. It's fine. That, uh, I just, I, I'm more the, maybe do you have to have a ceremony are, for it? You're the proponent of this tournament. You're like in charge of yeah. promoting it. And uh, the banner just feels a step too oh, far. I'm saying like not the next season, like after the game, like the first home game after you yeah. win, you raise a banner. You don't wait until next season I would you do it but you're leaving it up there yes, right it's yes. staying up there it stays up there <laughs> you know what fine i have to i because ha again this is about history so in 30 years if you've won an uh, uh nba cup and you won the first one and you don't have something exactly nba so cup i will fold i will fold on that i'm not gonna like it but i'll fold coming up next no one's talking about it but here's how trey lance fits into the 49er quarterback picture